What's up, Rocky family? I'm Donovan Clinton, welcoming you back to Bear Bikes, where each week we spotlight Rocky's Athlete of the Week. Today, joining me is one of the four captains of our football team. He is senior defensive tackle Dylan Baradon. Dylan, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Now, we're 2-0, strong start. Uh, We're coming off a bye week. A lot of times people think bye week is a time to kind of rest and it could slow some momentum. How has the bye week helped us going into this next week? I think overall as a unit, especially from the defensive side, we kind of just going back to the fundamentals. Really just kind of understanding like what's going to get us beat in games against really good teams that we're going to be in this next six-week stretch. And then really just trying to get back to what to make sure that we can go out winning. For sure. Now, we beat Dickinson State week one, which was a nationally ranked team. We're currently undefeated, and yet we're still not in the top 25 in the NAIA. Talk about why you think that is and how this that has fueled this team. I really feel like just we get overlooked in a lot of situations. A lot of people don't really respect us from our conference to coaches' pools to a lot of things where, like, they trying to tarnish our name as Rocky as a whole university. But, I mean, I feel like we gain respect whenever we – we put a statement out there. And I feel like we have the opportunity to put a statement and we really just have to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Now, speaking of statement, this weekend, it's a game that everyone who's a fan of Rocky football, they yeah. they circle on their calendar. It's mm-hmm. Carroll College. Um, and speaking of rankings, they're ranked 10 mm-hmm. in the whole NAIA. Talk about what this game means and what the fans should expect uh, in terms of the outcome this weekend. Uh, it's just going to be a real loud environment. I mean, hopefully it's packed out stadium. I mean, I know... Regardless, we're going to create a real great energy for the fans to even feed off, regardless on the field. Um, but, I mean, this we have so many rivalries, but, I mean, I feel like just playing against Carroll just stands out for everybody. I mean, even Carroll feels the same way. Like, we've always had just that, that tension in between us. They're like, we know we don't like each other, but there's a mutual respect that we know that we're going to be one of the biggest games throughout the year. Definitely, definitely. Now, this last question, get to know you a little bit. With the big game coming up, tell us a pregame ritual that you have. Shoot. So with one o'clock uh, kickoff games, you like to wake up a little bit early, like to take a shower, really just to, like relax the body and the mind. Yeah. Uh, throw on like I actually like listening to jazz in the morning. Like okay. I listen okay. to like uh, Herbie Hancock or uh, the Blackbirds, like 70s jazz. Okay. Kind of just relax, really just eat breakfast, with hang out with the guys and really just try to not blow it up. Like in like, oh, it's game day. You got to like act a certain way and everything like that. Just kind of just relax and like get like just feed off the energy from everybody else and really just kind of make sure everybody's ready. That's awesome. Well, I got no doubt that you're going to ball out and you're going to do what you do best come Saturday. That is all we have time for today. Again, Dylan, thank you for joining us today and good luck tomorrow. We're going to need all hands on deck tomorrow as we take on Carroll College right here at Herb Clint Field at 1 o'clock. So be sure to pack the house and get loud as we get ready to take on the Saints. I'm Donovan Clinton, as always. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.